All right, so uh, this is definitely probably a data-driven crowd, which I'm not uh, necessarily used to speaking to. So I want to get uh, straight to the numbers and how we can use data, especially with Link and Food Stamp Purchases um, Redemption at uh, 61st Street Market for kind of um, the public good. So just a quick, um, it's pretty low tech how a system works at the farmer's market to accept Link Food Stamp. So if I have a Link card, I'm a Link card holder, I go to the um, market information booth, I swipe my card um, for $25, I'll get $25 in what's called like just like Monopoly money, you can imagine, and then $25 extra in that double value coupon to, to match that. So now I have a stack of $50 and I go shop individually at each of the different farmer's market stands. Um, and the reason we have to do that is because Currently, you can't um, swipe your link card on a Square device or any mobile device that the farmer's market has. They're actually rolling out a par pilot program this year, but for now, you need a paper receipt if you're a link shopper, and so that's why um, we have to do it kind of that, that Stone Age way. But because we do uh, do it that way, we have our hands in, in the data and where that money is being redeemed because we have to then cut checks for the farmers at the end of the day when they are um, giving us back their so on Tuesday at my office, I'm just counting thousands of dollars in this uh, small monopoly money. And so this is where all the data is coming from, just to give you a picture. Are there any questions about how that works on the ground or why we do it that way when there's, you know, when we live in the, the 21st century or anything like that? Or you want me to go <laughs> Yeah. So if they swipe and they get their $25 or like $50 dollars mm -hmm. money, do they have to then go spend it all, or if they don't spend it, can they like refund that back to their card? Yeah, so they, they won't refund it back to their card. What most shoppers do is they budget that money, so you don't have to spend it that day. You just have to spend it within that calendar year market season, just so for our accounting purposes, it's on the books. Um, and so what a lot of folks do, and we'll get into this a bit later, is because um, people that are working are using Link, and even they're not paid a living wage, so their money is not lasting till the end of the month. So they'll save up that double value, and when their link dollars run out, then at the end of the month, if they came at the first three Saturdays, they'll at least have 75 extra dollars to use um, that fourth Saturday at the market, um, or save it up for a Thanksgiving turkey or something like that. Um, so that's kind of how it works. Related question, mm -hmm. who's funding the match? So um, the match is all privately funded um, through pretty much our executive director, Connie, just writing grants. Um, so. Things like um, Wholesome Wave, Greer Foundation, um, University of Chicago Madison throws in a little bit. Yeah. Chicago, Chicago Community Trust. Chicago has. Community Trust. Um, yeah. And so that's where uh, that's where it comes from now. Um, if it's moved more from a proof of concept to actually getting an itemized line in the Farm Bill, the 2014 Farm Bill. So it's called FINIP, the Food and in, Food Incentive Nutrition Program. Um, and so there's like 30. They threw us a, a few pennies, like. 100 million over five years um, to, to kind of do this, but that won't be um, coming along the pipeline until 2015, 2016. So for now, we'll keep having to privately fund it. But it has its challenges, as you can imagine, um, to make sure all the dollars are matching up. Counterfeiting problems. I, I love I love this question. <laughs> so um, the day that we have to worry about counterfeiting problems of people counterfeiting farmers market dollars to buy fresh local <coughs> organic food, then then we have won. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't had any instances with uh, counterfeiting at all. We've had one instance where um, a farmer's market, a farmer, a vendor's bag disappeared, and I don't know if they lost it or if someone swiped it or how that worked. Um, but that's the only um, instance we've, we've ever had. Hope I, I really hope that people start, you know, like, oh, we got like five thousand dollars counterfeit at 61st Street. That makes me actually happy. <laughs> 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 yeah, nice around the bus, uh, but yeah. 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 <laughs> as happy as we would be about that, we do yeah. have some safeguards. Yeah. Uh, so we we track week by week uh, which link monies were distributed versus which link monies were redeemed, right? So if we ever see more monies being uh, being redeemed by the farmers than 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 was actually just handed out, then we know that somebody is pushing extra monopoly money into the mix. So, yeah. So we haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yeah. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> is it really monopoly money, or you? I mean, I wish I would. I wish I would have brought one. Yeah, up. yeah. But the, it's actually I might have. We do credit and debit um, as well, so. There's no stigma attached. Everyone's going to that same time right. um, and, and getting. So yeah. I might. Let's Not only are there no grocery stores, there's also no. So they're like. Buy, so they're just 
simple little dollars yeah. like this in one and five dollar increments. Um, and there's there are different colors based on if it's linked double value, credit, debit, just so the farmers knows which can be redeemed for what food items. Um, so that's kind of how it works. It's a thousand customers on average each Saturday and 37 <laughs> Isn't that $37,000 Saturday? Uh, and $63,000? No, that's, that's, foot, that's yeah. foot traffic. That's foot traffic. Yeah. 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 1,100 folks, only a certain percentage of them using their link cards. Yeah, so for link shoppers, it's somewhere um, between 50 and 70 on an outdoor market um, in terms of actual uh, transactions, depending on the weather and that kind of stuff. Yeah, all the way back there. Sorry. Um, what is food on it? Cool, yeah. So I'll go in and uh, kind of explain the breakdown uh, here. So FoodRx is a program uh, with University of Chicago Medicine. As you can see, it was a pilot this year. It's with the Improving Southside Diabetes um, organization. And so what they do is they provide these food prescription, uh, literally prescriptions, to local health clinics in the area who then prescribe them um, to the patients. And then the patients come to the market and can redeem them there where there's a nutritionist on, and so. We'll talk more about yeah. that. Yeah, we'll talk more about food in a little bit. And market money is just what we give um, kids that do our uh, healthy cooking classes, gardening classes, they can come and, and buy stuff uh, at the market. Um, but this is kind of just the breakdown in terms of, so the link and the double value, um, so we're just under 40,000, and believe it or not, that's number one in the, the state of Illinois, which we're proud of, but also very sad because it's, only $38,000 compared with the huge pot of um, SNAP dollars that are in the, the city of Chicago. But the first year we did this in 2008 for an entire 26-week uh, market season, we swiped $1,000 um, in Lincoln. Just seven years later, you know, it's grown to uh, close to 40, which is which has been a good growth and it continues to grow that way. Are you um, are you marketing to uh, people that have that get linked to? I mean, because. Of, I know a lot of people that have like that, but that don't shop at farmers markets and probably would if they realize that the, uh, you know, the double value coupon program existed and things of that nature. Yeah, I think that's probably about eighty percent of um, my job. Whether it's at six a.m. when I'm going on my run, having a stack of flyers, talking to folks lining up in food pantry lines, we have a uh, really close relationship with the Department of Human Service office yeah, on Sixty Third Street. Yeah. Um, so, so we're there every Friday morning before the market. We're doing tastings this. Uh, this week, getting or um, this season, doing strawberries and fruit and stuff like that. So yeah, we, we do pound the pavement. That's actually most of um, what what my job entails in terms of community outreach and, and organizing. So we're seeing gains. But um, so I'm going to just hold off questions so we can kind of keep moving yeah, a little yeah. bit more, just yeah. um, until we get.